guys, it's Shafia from Motorist.sg and right now I'm about to go to work but I just got a message from my boss asking me to fetch him from Orchard Central. See lah, this old man! And I heard that Orchard Central is one of the most challenging car parks to navigate. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to navigate a challenging car park. Do I look like a chauffeur? Oh my gosh, I'm panicking! Because just now when I googled Orchard Central, right, I saw reviews saying that Orchard Central car park is a spiral killer, man. But I think it should be kacang ah, because my office car park is also spiral car park. And I've been spiraling up and down every day, so... And after going round and round every day, right, I realised that it's best and important to maintain a constant, slow and steady speed when going up or down the spiral. That is the key to a smooth climb, yo. And about how fast I get there And about what's waiting on the other side If you maintain a constant speed, then it's easier for your steering wheel also because you don't need to steer much. If you slow down or accelerate at different points, then you need to keep steering the car back to be within the lane, which is leche lah. And also, if there's a car in front of you, maintain a safe distance from it so that if it stops, you can crawl your way up until it moves. It's also because the car in front of you might be a manual car, and if they're not used to it, they might roll back, so give them space. But if you have to stop, it's best to pull the handbrake and don't leave your foot off the brakes. If you drive manual and you have to stop at the spiral slope, then you GG's, yeah? And when you're going up, you'll be at this angle where you cannot see the floor properly. So always keep a lookout for obstacles or curbs from far, so that you'll know when to avoid it when you're near. And I also saw reviews saying that Orchard car park is damn tight. So first of all, like I mentioned in the previous video, you must know your car size. So if the car park is tight, you need to know your turning point and don't turn too early and don't turn too late. Because if you turn too early, you might scratch your sides against the wall. If you turn too late, you might scratch the front against the wall. So once the wall reaches your shoulder, immediately make a full left turn on the steering wheel. Sometimes you can turn to the right slightly first, then you turn left fully to make a sharper turn. So when you go up the ramp right, there should be a gap between the wall and your car at both sides, so you won't kena the wall. You see all these scratch marks on the wall? Rabak siya! But if you accidentally turn a little too late, never mind, you can still reverse a bit to reposition your car. And always maintain a slow speed at all times. This is so that you don't exceed the turning point. But it all depends on the size of your car and how tight is the car park lah. You know what I mean? So the same goes for going down the spiral. Maintain a constant slow and steady speed. And no need to step on the accelerator already because the car can move by itself, so just lightly step on the brake. This is also to prevent any unwanted collision with cars going at the opposite direction, especially this kind of spiral design where there's no divider between going up or down. So always be prepared and slow down if there's cars on the other side. Oh my gosh, it's never ending! And lastly, keep a safe distance away from the car in front of you. This one is common sense because in case they brake, you have some time to brake safely instead of crashing into them. Make sure you go slow because if not, you might lose control and skid. See, that wasn't so bad, right? Or maybe because my car is small. But anyway, if you guys know of any more challenging car parks, feel free to share them with me in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week to find out what I'll be sharing next. And in the meantime, if you see me on the roads, don't forget to give me a friendly horn. Bye!